Do you know how this gospel came to us? If it's this kind of Christianity we are practicing that they practice, we will not have the gospel. It would have ended with their generation. I read the story of the Moravian brothers. They sold themselves as slaves, gave the money for charity, and they were carried into France to preach the gospel. How do you explain that? You go to heaven, you will sit with them, you are a joker. What then is the definition of breakthrough? If somebody has sold himself in order to enter a city and bring Christ, how do you now define breakthrough? Because the last time you checked, all you call breakthrough is all you receive from God. If they check what you gave to God, your score is zero. So what is breakthrough? The Bible said through faith they subdued kingdom. They wrought righteousness. They obtained promises. They shut the mouth of lions. They quenched the violence of fire. Weak men were made valiant in strength. And he says some of them were tortured. In the face of deliverance, they rejected it that they may have a better resurrection. What are you seeing and what are they seeing? You are seeing success in time. They are seeing a better resurrection. You are different creatures. That's why Paul said, though our light affliction are but for a moment, they work for us an exceeding weight of glory. Why we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are unseen. That's a man that has access to light. He has access to light. The value of his life is different from ours. He lived from heaven. The weight of glory. How much light do you have? They say, come and fast. You say, Kai, I'm tired. It's 12 o'clock already. And then you go and do makeup for two hours. Praying tongues for three hours. Hey, three hours. But you're on Facebook for seven hours. You are living from the light of the sun. And when you are 70 years old, you will discover you wasted your life. When your mates are digging into Zion in tongues, Teka, Safakaya, Murakane, Setedia, he looked to you like foolishness. You have an appointment to catch. When you are 65 years old, you will discover your life was a waste. It was Mama that gave us illustration here the last time I visited. He said, if you sleep for six hours, one fourth of your life you spent it sleeping. So when you are 30 years old, you are not 30. That's what you thought was your age. You are actually... You are 24 years old. And if we continue, you may discover that a 30 year old man is actually 4 years old. That's why they don't know God. Because they spent, some of us spent 10 hours sleeping. We go to bed by 9, we wake up by 8. 10 has gone out of 24. We spent 3 hours on Facebook. When you calculate, we spent 16 hours apart from God. So if we are 30, it's actually 15 years that have lived. Out of that 15 years, maybe we pray every day for 10 minutes. So when the guy is 50 years old, his investment in eternity is not up to 6 months. How old are you? I'm 50. Then they ask the angel, how old is this man? The last time he checked, we discovered he's 6 months old in the spirit. So he's a baby all his life. And then he wakes up, thank God, God I have a black jeep. That black jeep is his God. That's why we are earthly beings. Yeah. We don't know what Christianity is. We can't teach glory. It's, it's, it's difficult. It's a body. It's a body. Many who were our mates in their day and time, their own assignment is that we must get the whole prostitute in this town. Meanwhile, we will come to church. We say this temptation is too much. You know why the temptation is too much? You are full of flesh. That lady you saw and you are being tempted. Somebody else will see that lady and see an evangelist. Because when the spices went to Jericho, they didn't see a harlot. They saw a woman that would be in the ancestry of Jesus. And they said, spare us. When we come back, your life will be spared. And the time came. Harlot, Rehab, the harlot, became Rehab, the mother of Jesus Christ. By what sight did they see? They saw by light. You will see a harlot. They saw the progenitor of Jesus. That's why our, value, our life has no value. When we die, it ends with us. And you come to Africa, everybody's looking for a male child. Because there's no posterity. Wise men download pillars from Zion. And he said, until the time of John, 
the kingdom of God suffered violence. So John doesn't need a son. John has become a dispensational marker. You can never live through time without mentioning John. The life of John is a pillar on earth. Jesus came. He said, until the time of John, the kingdom is preached. Go to heaven. John is an immortal pillar in Zion. This perfume will be worth, worth a year's wages. Ah, why do you see like men? This thing that she has done, wherever this gospel is preached, she will be remembered. It's a memorial. What that woman did is that she planted her name among spirits. This is how some of them walked in time. When you go to heaven, they are on earth, yet they live from there. There is something you can do and you can receive an inheritance among spirits. It was Enoch that said, I please God. When you are there, you think it's pride. He said, God will take me. Those of you who are here can die. We don't die. We are entered in Zion. We can't die. God will take me. What is that? And then you say, breakthrough is a car. We are mundane. Enoch moved around. He said, I please God. What kind of man is that? Is he a mortal? And when the time came, he knew where God would carry him from. And Elijah came and said, no. This thing is not for Enoch only. If Enoch can do it, I can do it. Because that dimension is not for Enoch. It is for everybody that enters where Enoch enters. So Elijah began to press in light. And the point came. Elijah told Elijah, God will carry me. Ah And the prophets came and said, God will take your master. Elijah journeyed past four cities. He wanted to show Elijah that power is still remaining here, but I need to go to heaven today. So when he came to Jordan, he did like this, and the Jordan parted. Do you know he took God to divide the Jordan for more than four million people? One man had a stature of four million people. And when he came to Jordan, the Jordan parted and he crossed. And when he came, he said, the time has come. What do you want? Is that a man talking? <laughs> this is what motivates a generation that wants to stand for God. The generation of the overcomers are men that have inheritance in the spirit. The generation of the overcomers are men that have rank in Zion. Act for them is only a ground to bring Jesus. Their life is in the spirit. They came to Paul. He said, for me to live is Christ, but to die is gain. I'm on earth because of you. I know where I go to. And in case you don't know, I knew a man many years ago. He was carried to the third heavens. I know. I've been there. He said, what remained for me is a crown of life. So when others are pursuing title and portfolios, Paul was pursuing the crown of life. That's what he looked at. He's a man that walked from light. What remained for me is a crown of life. And it was not only him. They tried to kill John, they couldn't. And they now sent him to Patmos. Patmos means the island of my time. But while he was in Patmos, he didn't know the difference between Patmos and a palace. Because after all, even when he's a palace, he's living in the spirit. He's not moved by a waterbed. There's something that governed his soul. And he said, in the last day, I was in the spirit. I am not in Patmos. You are the one that think you brought me to Patmos. I was in the spirit on the last day. And I heard a voice. And as he turned, he appeared in heaven. The guy visited heaven so much that on the last time he went, he wanted to worship the angel. And he said, no, I'm one of your brothers. You're on earth, do your assignment on earth. I'm doing my own assignment in heaven. So where we are is because of assignment. And when all of this is over, all of us will gather by the table of the master. Paul said, John said, I write unto you children because you are strong. And the word of God is in you. And you have overcome the evil one. That's the threefold dimension of a young man's life. Strength in the spirit. Full of the word. And the ability to conquer darkness. If you want to check the dimensions of the life of a young man. Don't check how intelligent he is. Find out how much strength does he have to stand. Take him to the place of prayer. Let's pray. If that guy can't stand for one hour, he's a babe. Ask him, what is God doing now? He doesn't know he's a babe because he doesn't operate from the realm of light. He said the young man is a man of strength. The young man is full
full of the word of the Lord. And the young man has overcome the evil one. So if that guy shows up in your family, people may be dying. When they come, they say, death, stop. That's a young man. According to age in the spirit. You know, age in the spirit is not time-based. For a child, his sins are forgiven. Not because of him, for his namesake. So if all you receive is forgiveness of sin, thank you, Father. Have mercy. Thank you, Lord. I receive you are a child. But when you become a young man, you say you are strong. So what God wants to do, you say, God, don't worry, I'm here. They say somebody is possessed. You don't need to send the Holy Ghost. I've come. I come with the embassy of Zion. That man knows priesthood and legislation. When he comes, he can judge the tongue of the Leviathan. And he will end the tyranny of darkness. I'm here. Lord, don't worry. I'm going there. God is looking. Who shall we send? Ah, yeah. Why are you asking, sir? I'm here. I'm here. Who is going to Makodi? I am here. So when others are in Makodi looking for, for which club is raining, I am here. I am here. And like John, when you cry, the nation will evaporate. That's a young man. The Bible said when Noah was approaching Nineveh, it was three days journey. He traveled for one day and when he cried, the king fell down from his throne and repented. By what technology was that? A function from heaven. This is what Christianity is. It's called the life of glory. You think your voice is given to you to gist? No. The first time wars were used, it was for creation. 